what we will see first is first mode of vibration. This is the first mode of vibration of coupled pendulum where the spring acts like a rigid body. There is no extension or compression in the spring. Now there will be the second mode of vibration. The pendulum will move opposite to each other. Where the spring will have extension and compression. And now we will see the beads phenomenon. So the beads phenomenon will like when we give motion to only one of the pendulum. We can see it, it, it has only the motion. Now it has stopped. Motion is transferred to here. Now it will stop and the motion has been transferred here. So we can see the amplitude is getting increased and then decreased. So that's what the beat phenomenon is. And it is getting damped and getting stopped. Now let's see it through a th theory. Uh, this is the mode one when the both of the pendulum are moving in the same direction. We can see that this pendulum is moving in this direction. This pendulum is also moving in this direction. So the spring is acting like a rigid body. I oh, sorry, I forgot to draw the spring here. And then both of the pendulum will come back neutral position then again go to the extremity in the right side left extremity middle and the right extremity so upper part this is mode one and this is the mode two when the pendulum are moving in opposite direction means they are of 180 degree of phase they are in zero degree phase so they this one is moving in this direction and this one is moving in this direction then they will come back so here this is the neutral position and then they will get compressed so this is the mode 1 it will have frequency f1 this is the mode 2 it will have frequency f2 okay and the third thing is beats phenomenon okay so the beats phenomenon what is happening in beats phenomenon is we uh, we generally used to see this type of graph in beats phenomenon okay this is the amplitude versus time so uh, we can see this is the sinusoidal type and there is a sinusoidal envelope and inside there is a wave which has an increasing uh, we can see the increased in the amplitude it start from zero then inside the envelope amplitude is getting increased and then amplitude is getting decreased then again in amplitude getting increased and getting decreased the same thing we are seeing in the video now we can see again the video then we can understand it more better that how the amplitude is getting increased and decreased okay in this video we will specially see the beats phenomenon uh, now we are giving motion to only one of the pendulum let's see what happened it has only motion now this it will stop and this motion is transferred here then again it will stop and this motion is transferred here uh, we can say the beats has two frequencies it means it has combination of both the modes uh, f1 and f2 right so uh, how this f1 f2 we can observe it like uh, we have given motion to only one of the pendulum and the other was at rest so we are giving motion to this one and now this motion will transfer it will get stopped after means we have given motion to this one it will uh, do the motion oscillation and then it, it will stop okay and then this will start okay it will stop and then this will start and then after some time it will stop and it's this will start so the motion is getting transferred from here to here and then here to here so if we will observe any one of the pendulum we will find that it is stopping for some time and uh, it is uh, rotating for some time so uh, it is uh, it has oscillation and it has stopping time and obviously the beats phenomenon has f1 
plus f2 by 2 right and f1 minus f2 by 2 so one pendulum has two types of things it moves and it stop stop is also we can say time period or frequency means for how much time it will stop okay so that might come under this one and if f1 plus f2 by 2 that might come under this one okay means the two frequencies combination of both of the modes will come under oscillation and for stopping time stopping is also a, we can say for some time so and oscillation is for some time so there is the two things one is f1 plus f2 by 2 this is uh, first frequency and this is the second frequency okay so that's how the beats phenomenon is thank you